What is up guys, it's Jimbo here and welcome to Space Marine 2 news. We haven't had anything to do with Space Marine for the last like six months. We had a trailer, we had some leaks from the art book, so we kind of already knew these modes were coming. I just didn't really want to talk about them until they became an actual thing, so I don't mind talking about leaks sometimes. But here, I wanted to wait for them to drop a trailer because we got a new one thanks to Warhammer Skulls, which as of this video would have been yesterday, but it was this evening as I am making this. We're going to let the trailer play through and I'm just going to analyze stuff. I could make this into like a, a, a more uh, dedicated and edited video, but I wanted to give like my raw takes and my raw reactions to all the stuff that's going on. I've already watched this trailer four times uh, at launch and then I re-watched it again and then I showed my friends it and I've just watched it again now before jumping into the video so we know from this this is going to be uh, Captain or Lieutenant Titus um, he is going to be the main protagonist for the campaign obviously we will find out what happened to him from the previous game and it seems like he's going to be having a conversation with some uh, other ultramarines right here to break the synapses of the Tyranids. Now, synapses, if you're not familiar with Warhammer 40k and you just like the way that Warhammer Space Marine works, they are what keep the hive mind connected of the Tyranids. And once they are broken, they can kind of become scattered and you can kind of take advantage of it. And it's a key thing that people that are fighting the Tyranids want to be able to stop. Uh, and we also get to see right here, this is on... Uh, for Vastium. I don't believe the first game was uh, was for Vastium, and I'm not too sure where this is in the galaxy, but it is a hive thing. We're also going to be going up against the hive feet Leviathan, you can see, uh, which is just behind me on the chair right here. If I just move my camera out of the way uh, real quick, you can see just over here, you can see that it says hive fleet uh, Leviathan, which is pretty cool. Uh, enemy strength is high, priority, you know, Xenos, Tyranids, that type of thing. And he says we get two squads. And he's like, no, nope, you're going to get three Space Marines. Which means we are getting three player co-op missions. I love the way this looks, by the way. This is this is just amazing. So already the lighting, the, the world, it's just, ah, oh, it's gorgeous. I love this already. <laughs> the the uh, mohawk the the like roman centurion type thing we've also got a really cool mask here we've got the uh like a power hammer we've got bolter we've got like another version of a bolter with a sniper scope on the back of it and we've all got distinctly different stuff as well and yeah i can't wait to jump in we've got the power pack on the back we've also got some imperial guard right there as well fighting a bunch of warriors finishing moves what it also sees if we go back on this there's like a small poison thing it looks like a poison thing yeah it's like a, a yellow thing it might just be what's moving but it might be something cool that we can use some bigger enemies some maybe some hive tyrants maybe and here we have a really awesome shot i just love the swarm engine the swarm engine if you don't know is what saber interactive has used to make um the uh, world war z games be so amazing and i think it's just a match made in heaven for tyranids here we got a cool little, <laughs> cool little knife we also have three player obviously three player co-op mode operations i don't care how many days. there's like 10 of them 10 to 11 and they're repeatable and there's different things that can change up and they're dynamic each time i'm gonna be playing the shit out of this i don't care i am so incredibly hyped for this there's a couple of different environments and there's different weapons already there's like a that's like another finishing move we've got like the big devastator cannons six classes to play an upgrade we'll go through those in just a moment because we do get a brief snapshot of what they all are you can see that the uh what's it called like a uh what's it called a grapple hook that he dives into another a, a cool thing we're doing there power sword and a um a shield this is the important part the reason i'm so hyped and why i'm going to be continuing to play this game customize your space marines because we have a full suite of stuff first of all this is the class screen we have tactical which quite possibly is just like the all-round class we have assault 
We have Vanguard, we have Bulwark, we have Sniper, and we have Heavy. Assault is most likely going to be having a uh, jetpack. We do get to see uh, a little snapshot of them as we go through a little bit more. Uh, sniper is probably going to be a sniper. And then we also have like the heavy, which is most likely either going to be like a devastator or someone that's involved with heavy weapons. We have a stalker bolt rifle, a bolter pistol, and also a chainsaw. And we have loadouts. And then we have an entire perk tree all the way up to level 25. Uh, I'll swap over to the other side of the screen real quick so you can uh, kind of see. And I'll also flip my camera over uh, real quick in here. There we go. So you'll see that we have this. We have level 25. We also have like a super meter right here and uh, all of this extra stuff. This looks like a flamer symbol. Uh, and yeah, I love this already. And the next shot that we get to see is, oh, there's a brief shot just there. We have armor sets that we're most likely going to be able to unlock but there's also custom armor sets we are going to be able to hold on let me go back just a little bit it's a it's a brief frame we get to customize i'm going to also swap it back over to the other side real quick because uh there's a lot of stuff on the different sides of the screen we have helmet uh 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 pauldrons breastplate war gear gauntlets and greaves all individual ones and you can see some of the customization op and options on the characters which you can see here they've got like the padlock on there and they've got like a um like war gear type things you've got the pauldron that looks amazing the lighting and stuff in this game looks it looks so good it looks so good um we also then have oh let me go back one second it's a quick freeze frame that's a look at the vanguard now, I don't necessarily know what the Vanguard is. I think the Vanguard, at least in this situation, is going to be more melee focused. It looks like it from here. They're going to be super melee focused. They've got a bolt pistol, instigator carbine, chain sword. So they're going to be more melee focused. You can see from these uh, trees uh, just here. Then you have Bulwark. And this is the interesting thing. Because we're able to change the colors of our armor, we're able to play as our own specific space marine faction here we have a power sword and a plasma pistol and you can see the shield on as well for the imperial fists and this seems to be more of like the support style class which is the bulwark um being able to like heal your allies and stuff we also get to see another frame forward we get to see the sniper so they have a bolt sniper rifle a combat knife bolt pistol and a bunch of stuff there and then I believe we also get to see... That's what I think the heavy is, potentially. But we don't get to see anything else for the heavy. We didn't get to see that yet. This is also another thing that we can look at to change how your character looks. So you have Ultramarine. I believe that is White Scars. And then here's the other thing as well. They've not just done, like, weapon uh, uh, armor sets in your character. You have an upgradable uh, perk tree for weapons we have at least i think that's six or so different weapons there for your primaries you have this system here which is an xp system standard mastercrafted artificer and then relic which is uh just below me right here which means we're going to get potentially different perks and stuff on them that we can level up across all the different weapons and uh if we skip forward you can see we also have um, the plasma rifle there. We also have a different chainsword for their appearance because... Oh, look at this, man. It's so cool. We have appearances and stuff that we can add onto them, like skins and such. Like the... Oh, this looks so sick. I can't wait to do this. Um, we get to obviously the different customizations of the helmets, but there's also things that you'll be able to see. For example, if I pause it for just a moment, the right moment, you have some of the, um, the flowing cloth that you can have the um the dark angels have with their gear there's also like a, a i don't know what type of color that this guy is here um it looks like more of a gray black um looking style but if you see there's also uh i don't know if it, it looks like an ultramarine but it also looks like a raven guard a little bit as well probably is an ultramarine there but i like that there's also confirmed that we're going to be fighting some of the Chaos Marines in the game uh, because they're the they look like the I think they're the Thousand Sons or the I think the Thousand Sons. I'm trying to remember them off the top of my head right now, but still, there's a shot right here. Boom! The hoods, the hoods that you'll have that the Dark Angels usually wear. 
that's so cool i can't wait to see what people's space marines are in this and the different uh combinations the imperial fists the customization options and stuff mm. so good and it gets better because we have 6v6 modes plague marines chaos marines so hopefully we have the same level of customization that we can have in a 6v6 eternal war look at all this stuff man look at the different types of chaos marines that there are there's a corn helmet right there narrative player campaign three player co-op multiplayer mode uh, uh co-op missions and 6v6 multiplayer uh space marine 2 is gonna be so damn good i i am calling it right now i'm so excited for it like the other thing was right at the end here is we get to see some of the additions so number one is a season pass we don't know what's on the season pass but there's a four day early unlock so it'll be coming out on the 5th of november for those people which was has mccrag's coat chosen skins as well which is pretty cool we then also have uh the, that's the gold edition and then we have the ultra edition which is the ultramarines champion pack season pass and then four day early access and i think that's the final mode and then we also have like the big collects edition like i i don't know how else to uh, like talk about this game i know i'm kind of giving into the hype but the game was delayed i'm just gonna play this without any audio for now the game was uh was delayed for i think it was a year or six months or so however it was they never really gave us a proper release date and i think it was to add these modes in to add these features this has just extended the life of the game so much more because the campaign could be you know eight hours long with a couple of buddies and then you've got multiplayer to jump into just some random like horde stuff like they're really giving us like the ultimate space marine third person experience and i am all in for it let me know your thoughts down in the comment section of this trailer are you excited what are you looking forward to most with um the uh, space marine 2 release september 9th is when the full release of the game is four days early access i believe if you pre-order it so i don't know why games are doing that right now but still i'd love to know your thoughts because i'm so hyped i'm excited beyond belief and yeah just to be able to play this with some friends and you know continue to play it it's a dream I'm, I'm so excited for this wait for 10 years for this game to come out i can't wait so as always if you've enjoyed this leave a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always this has been it's jimbo and i'll see you guys next time peace